Our God is an awesome God. He is good. And he loves us so much. And we rely upon him. And how do we pray? We acknowledge that he is God, the one that is separate, unique, different from anybody else. There is no one like him. And we get that proper perspective of who God is, and we get our hearts aligned to him. And then we pray. We pray for our daily needs because it's easy. You know, in Deuteronomy, he says, when I bring you into that land of milk and honey, don't forget, always remember your God. And we're so prone to wonder. We forget, we for, we forget that God gives us everything that's good. That food that we have bought from the grocery store, as Pastor Char said, we wouldn't have any food if God didn't give us sunlight and soil and the animals and God made all of those things and it's really easy for us to, to forget to acknowledge him and thank him. And all it takes is just a simple thank you, Lord. Just thank you. And um, then what happens is we grow our bond, our appreciation with God and our love relationship deepens. And that's what we want to do. Our whole purpose in life is to know God, to to know him is to love him. And when we love him, we just want others to, to know him, to love him as well, because that's his heart. Remember that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That's the heart of God. He loves everybody. And so we pray also asking him to forgive us. And we have to forgive. Why? Because it's not good for us. It uh, removes the ability for um, intimacy. So we, we lay down those things. We say, Lord, I forgive. And just keep on forgiving. Release those things. And let God fill you with his love. Because it's not worth it to have a separation, a gap, you know, uh, between you and God because you're holding a grudge against someone. Let it go. That's what forgiveness is. Just let it go and ask him to help you not uh, fall into temptation because the Bible does say we fall into those things because of our own lusts. And so we do um, fight the battle through prayer and the Lord has given us victory. He's made us more than conquerors. He loves you and I'm so very grateful for the Lord just doing wonderful things in the body of Christ in this new year, uh, the missionaries at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. But remember, even if you're not a so-called missionary, you are on mission if you are a child of God that is following Jesus. There are people who are just believers in Jesus, but they're not actually following Jesus. Obeying his word is, is what um, Jesus means by, you know, if we love him, we're going to do what he says. And that's what it is to follow Jesus. So if you're following Jesus, you're on mission in your family, in school, doesn't matter how old you are, um, in your workplace, you are on mission. If you're retired, you're still on mission. So God loves you. And I thank the Lord for all of you out there that are posting and being consistent in your relationship with Jesus, because as the world is doing their own thing, well, so are you. You're showing that what you are living out is more important than whatever is going on in the world. And that's powerful. I've only been a Christian for a little, you know, less. I've been a Christian for um, almost 20 years now, but I've seen Christians that have been doing this for a very long time and they're on the internet and being a light and um, showing that it doesn't matter what the arguments have been. They haven't used anything as an excuse not to press toward the mark of Jesus. That goal is the Lord God Almighty. We want to be more like Jesus. And so God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ, for being that light, standing strong, being courageous and bold in the Lord, and living that life, enjoying all that he's given us, showing us by that Christ-like example that what God said is true, and over everything else, nothing is more important. And if you don't know the Lord, you can just simply pray, Lord, I do want to know you. 
please show yourself to me. If you want to pray, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for my wrongs. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Then you're a child of God and welcome to God's family. He loves you. Be real with him. He will meet you on the level by which you meet with him. So if you're sincere, he's going to meet with you in that sincerity. Get plugged into a good, healthy, balanced Bible teaching church and tell people about Jesus. Read, pray, obey, and uh, meditate upon his word. He loves you. He will transform your life. Thank you, and have a good night. God bless.